For the first time, we are getting a glimpse at body camera footage from the night of a deadly officer involved shooting in Coeur d'Alene. It was last February when police pulled over, pulled over a car where Curtis Ware, a known felon, was inside. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Hanrahan. And I'm Jane McCarthy. As officers went to arrest Ware, he opened fire and he was shot and killed in return. This month, the Coeur d'Alene officers who shot at Ware were cleared of any charges. Today, police shared video of what happened. Crem 2's Taylor Vida was there as police released the video and walked us through that night. He joins us live now with what happened. Taylor? Well, and guys, you'll recall that one of the officers who was injured in this shooting, he was shot in the abdomen. He's already back on duty. Now, in this instance, Coeur d'Alene's police chief says his officers did everything by the book. Ah, I'm hit. Central Sin Medical, I need hit. I'm hit. Uh, but I will tell you, it's incidents like this that kind of bring the scary part home. And the video certainly drives that home. It shows a snowy night in February when officers pulled over a car where this guy, Curtis Ware, was a passenger. He was a felon and had multiple prior arrests. Huh? All right, you can put it down. I'm going to have you step out with me. Video shows one Coeur d'Alene officer preparing to arrest Ware on a warrant, but as he gets ready to put him in cuffs, it happens. I'm putting your hands behind your back. This is body camera footage from Officer Charles Hatley. Watch as he returns fire, attempting to stop the suspect after getting hit. You're okay. Let me, where are you hit? Right in the stomach. Okay. We don't expect to walk into something like this. In sharing the video today, Chief Lee White praised the actions of the officers. He noted that this officer, Taylor Beach, attended to the injured officer, all while maintaining a lookout for the suspect. And then afterwards, exposed herself to the danger that was still posed by Mr. Ware. They had no idea of his whereabouts and frankly were expecting another attack from Mr. Ware. The suspect, Ware, would later be found dead behind a nearby building. Remarkably, both officers Beach and Hatley are back on duty. A testament, the department would likely say, to their bravery and their commitment to Coeur d'Alene. Uh, I'm extremely proud of the way our officers responded during this incident. They were presented with an unprovoked and sudden attack, uh, and they literally responded exactly the way the officers are trained. Those officers involved in that shooting all received medals related to their bravery in that situation. Two received department medals of honor, and Hatley received a Purple Heart. Chief White says he's also submitted a national medal of valor related to how Officer Beach acted in this shooting. Reporting live outside the Coeur d'Alene Police Department, Taylor Vito, Graham 2 News.